What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another on the farm late night edition. The sun is just about to set behind the camera. You guys need to see that real fast, and then we'll get to what we're going to talk about in this video. So you guys, I have been a bad person lately and haven't filmed anything down here at the farm. And I was kind of talking about it on Twitch the other day when I was live streaming and somebody said, hey, do a crop update. So that is what this video is going, going to be. We are out here in our lane right now and I'm gonna talk about um, some different stuff. So you guys, these are the first thing I'm gonna talk about right here. This is what's called early soybeans, as opposed to late soybeans, which we will get to momentarily. These soybeans are planted on 20 inch rows. Um, by the farmers and as you can tell they are starting to ripen hence the yellow leaves the other thing you may notice is there are beans in the pods there's pods all the way to the top of the plant and they go all the way down the plant now I will say the pods are looking very nice I am NOT going to open them up because that is stealing I'm not gonna do that to our farmers but what I will tell you is these beans here are looking quite nice and I think they're gonna have a pretty good yield to them so these are early soybeans. Directly across the road, so I was just in that field there to my right, this field here, these are also early soybeans. And these are also looking pretty darn good. Uh, these actually have a few weeds in them and a nice sunset as well. Uh, this particular patch here has a few weeds in it, but that's not really a big deal. Once again, early soybeans looking pretty darn good. Which you guys brings me to this other field. There's the soybeans there. This is actually my dad's cousin's ground out here along our lane like i was saying uh it brings me to this field here this was a corn field with another great sunset <laughs> on the other side uh this was a corn field it has been harvested by the neighbors that farm this and uh yeah it's one of the first corn fields that's actually been taken out around here one of the first there's a few there's a few, so it is officially harvest time. So being that it is harvest time, I will try to get some harvest videos going. I've been having some problems with my drone and hopefully I get them sorted out or hopefully I have them sorted out, I should say, um, already. But I'm not totally sure as it stands right now. There's a lot of dragonflies around me. I don't know if you guys can see them behind me, but a lot of dragonflies. Anyway, let's go check on some corn and uh, the pumpkins as well. This is. This is crop. We're talking about all the crops today. All right, seriously though, that sunset, the sun was just completely hidden in there. It's out at least a little bit now. All right, in the lane we go. As we're driving in the lane, I wanna to talk to you guys about possibly some upcoming stuff, some things. Uh, hopefully some harvest videos will be coming soon. Uh, some of the different guys out combining with their John Deere's and their Case IH is mostly John Deere's around here. The guys that farm the ground around me right now on both sides, they recently purchased a John Deere S780. And uh, I'm very eager to check that thing out and see how it looks and everything and, and whatnot. And I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed, that uh, I can do a ride along with him. Uh, it would be really cool if I could do a ride along on like what used to be grandpa's ground out here. Uh, we'll see if we can make that happen, if we can catch him down here. Uh, if I can, I'll of course bring you guys along for that. That'll be really cool. But uh, you never, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, the other thing is we have a fire to have this weekend. Um, the weekend that uh, this video goes up, we will be having a fire. Somebody in the family cut out a bunch of bushes at their house. And uh, if everything works, I will try to do like a high speed uh, fire video for you guys. I don't know if YouTube's real hip on the whole fire thing, but I'll give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen, right? YouTube gets, or the video gets taken down? I don't know. No big deal, not worried about it. But before before we lose light, which we are losing rapidly here, it's uh, 7.31 at night and uh, we're losing our light. So let's go check out the late soybeans, which is what's next to me on both sides of the road right now. And then we're gonna check out the corn on the back 80 because this field was there this field is 80 acres and it was behind the farm so it's called the back 80 so we're going to check that out and we'll check out the pumpkins real quick um throughout this video I've, I've probably already done it inserted a little bit of drone footage here and there like i said i've been having problems with my drone hopefully 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 i have it all figured out and we're good but 
Drone has been giving me fits lately, and my saying stands true. Technology, it's great when it works. All right, you guys, as you can see behind me, we're back at the farm, and these are what you would call late soybeans, our dual crop soybeans. These soybeans were planted directly after the wheat harvest, literally the same day the tractor almost ran over the combine planting these soybeans. So you can see the wheat stubble down there, and then the soybeans. Let's look in these as well, just for fun. Now, of course, these are behind the early soybeans because they were planted much later. And you can see the pods are there. There is a bean in there, but it's not quite filled out yet. And uh, they will continue to bloom and stuff. So they're actually looking pretty good too. There's a lot of beans down in there. I know it's hard to see, but those are looking pretty good. For late soybeans or dual crop soybeans in this area, which there's not many of them in this area, but these are awesome looking soybeans for being dual crop. All right, you guys, now we're at the pumpkin patch. Oh wait, this used to be the pumpkin patch. <laughs> these first, I don't know how many rows here. You can see there's a the big shed. This used to be the pumpkin patch right here. This was part of the pumpkin patch anyway. And we let them go ahead and plant corn there this year to try to break our cycle of just planting pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. And you can tell, maybe you guys can tell, this corn's looking pretty good. It's a probably, nine to ten feet tall out there I would say nine to ten feet tall and it's got ears you know it's got ears it's corn <laughs> let's take a look at it here real fast you can see they're not the biggest ears I mean I can't close my hand around it but they're still pretty good size there's a fair bit of corn on there not gonna not gonna pick it or anything because that's stealing in my opinion but I think this field will be pretty good. This is 80 acres of corn back here. And I think this is gonna be pretty solid. Uh, some corn this year just flat up burnt out and it's gonna be nothing. Literally zero bushels to the acre, which we had that last year and you pretty much get that every single year. So it's just the way it is. But for corn this year, the stuff behind me is looking real good. And here you guys is the craziest thing on the farm. These are our leaf enclosures. I know I've talked about talked about this plant before. However, it just won't stop growing. <laughs> I actually cut it off every week out here with the lawnmower now. You can see it is still blooming. And the crazy thing is if we walk here inside this fenced in area, which it's a little wet, we had some rain, but if we walk in here <laughs> and just look, it's all, it's like all gourds. There's three big ones right there no, I mean just look at all of them it's mental it is just mental how many gourds are hanging in this thing absolutely insane and remember this started all from one seed there is a bit of a bug issue in the center out here where I'm pointing at with my finger a bit of a bug issue there so this weekend I will have to spray these and take care of that oh yeah and there's the potential fire for this weekend I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it but it's a bunch of bushes and uh, they're gonna go up. So you guys, the other day when I was cutting the grass down here at the farm as I do, um, actually twice a week right now, and I think I'm gonna jump on the lawnmower here in a minute, but anyway, while I was cutting the grass, Dad was out here planting a little bit of fall garden. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. I know it might be kind of hard to tell, but that little green strip right there in the garden, those are turnips. For some reason, when we have our pumpkin party, people go absolutely insane for turnips. So dad planted a few turnips just for the people at pumpkin day. Now you guys, we are nearing the end of our crop little update tour, whatever you want to call it. There's two things I need to show you still. One is the pumpkins. And I'm going to give you guys a million years and you'll never guess what the other one is. I'm waiting. You guys didn't guess yet. There's an airplane over there. How about that sunset, by the way? Dang. You guys still aren't going to guess. No, no, you guys didn't get it right yet. Should I just show you? Okay, we have mushrooms, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't know what kind of mushroom this is. I'm not a mushroom expert, but I can get close to a mushroom. I won't even eat mushrooms, especially ones you find out in the wild, because I know there's some that can poison you. But we have mushrooms and a lot of them. There's actually a couple spots. This is one, the big spot here on the farm with all the mushrooms. There's another spot over by the asparagus and we really don't know what's going on, but it's kind of funny. Fake sky is fake, by the way. 
Totally looks fake right now, but I swear it's not. See, I told you you guys would never guess what was growing. So you guys, the absolute last thing I wanna show you guys, and I think I'm gonna use the drone footage because it's getting dark now, is the pumpkins. They are growing. As you guys can see from the drone footage, the pumpkins are growing quite nicely, and we're very happy with them so far. We still have the issue of some of the centers being um, destroyed by bugs and stuff like that, but it's not that big of a deal. I do have a different bug spray that I will be spraying on the pumpkins this weekend. We just haven't gotten around to it. And actually, we had to get a new sprayer for that tractor too, but that's another story for another day. So with that, you guys, it is almost dark here on the farm, so I'm gonna head to the shed and uh, we're gonna get out of here probably in a few minutes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, toodles.